Hello, my name is Alexia. I would like to make a video review of Left Behind The Rise of Antichrist. And I was actually really disappointed. Um, overall speaking. However, I want to just say one, po one positive thing about the question about uh, to question uh, the beasts or the rulers in the government in this movie um, Proverbs fourteen fifteen it says the simple believes uh, everything but the prudent gives uh, thoughts uh, thought to his steps and Psalm two one through three why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against uh, together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. So actually one positive thing in whole movie is that question the government, question uh the what's some uh, corona nonsense stuff. Um Think about like 9-11, was it just accidentally, you know, the whole Air Force could not <laughs> uh, stop uh, with some um, airplanes into the tower uh, in on top of it, did it just you know, blow up or was it actually a collapse, which one was it? So uh, one big positive what I saw is that it's not like, hey, Romans 13, God ordained the government, so everything the government does, everything is right. Just, you know, uh, do as you said, do as I said. It's like, no, it's actually, like I said, one positive thing is that, yeah, question the government, question the beasts or the rulers in the government. So that's one big positive thing. So, one other big thing is that, well, now we're going to the critique and more negative critique in it, is that who is the Antichrist? And, you know, saddest part is that many people just, um, I don't know, is that laziness or what, but they would not check for themselves like antichrist just type in the word antichrist in a search and you will see it's only appears four times in the bible so let me just read it first john 2 18 children it is last hour as you have heard that antichrist is coming so now many antichrists plural have come Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. First John 2.22 Who is the liar, but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? Well, let me read it, maybe like use a little bit Hebrew, uh, even though New Testament is written in Greek. Who is the liar, but he who denies that Yeshua is the Hamashiach, that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the, the Father and the Son. So it argues that uh, religious Jews at first century and now who denies that uh, Yeshua is Hamashiach, is the Christ, uh, they are Antichrists, plural. 1 John 4 verse 3 and every spirit that does not confess Jesus is from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard coming and now is in the world already. So in the first century, it's already in the world. So continue and Second John chapter 1 verse 7 and we know there's only one chapter um, for many deceivers has have gone out into the world those who do not confess the coming of Jesus uh, Christ in the flesh 
such a one is the deceiver and the antichrist so <clears throat> the point is that there's honestly there's people equate like man of sin to which is singular to the many antichrist plural or beasts multiple beasts in a book of revelation or beast in a revelation or daniel whatever but <clears throat> um i would argue that there's a plural of antichrists plural and actually the man of sin um is singular continue on next critique so yes man of sin is uh not antichrists plural so in the second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 through 12 it says this <clears throat> for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work it's already at work from the first century only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out the way and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the lord jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming the coming of lawless one is by the activity of satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved therefore god sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false in order that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness so once again one singular man of lawlessness or man of sin how you want to say it uh, depending on translation <clears throat> Next, uh, <coughs> strong believer that pre-tribulation rapture is a false, total garbage. And I will explain you why actually some people believe in pre-tribulation rapture. It's because when you combine uh, passages, which I would argue about 70 AD and the second coming, that's when you become you know just which one is which and i would say that um the passages since actually i'm a amillennialist and i believe that some things has fulfilled in 70 and some things yet in the future still to come and like for example in first corinthians 15 verse 50 to 52 i would argue that is about the second coming now, this is say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corrupt, cor corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. Last trumpet. Not the first trumpet. Last for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorrupt incorruptibly and we shall be changed so <clears throat> at the last trumpet i would say that referring not uh pre-tribulation but post-tribulation rapture next second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3 to uh, till 10. <clears throat> we are bound to thank god always for you brethren as it is fitting because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you all abound towards each other so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of god for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations which you endure which is manifest evidence of the righteous righteous judgment of god that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of god for which you also suffer 
you already you suffering f i mean f already in the first century think of even like history think of how many people got burned at the stake burned uh with some um, either in the first century or throughout middle medieval, medieval time or been fed to the lions or been tortured by inquisition or spanish inquisition or papal inquisition um and you're gonna say to people you know honestly like my opinion of this whole pre-tribulation rapture that uh it's been created for middle or high class uh with some so-called christians who is willing to compromise who is willing to uh be double tongue um who would just sugarcoat the gospel like if if you say if okay if you say that you have not experienced um any suffering for christ okay go to work and every time you know you have opportunity to speak about christ tell them that jesus christ is the only way if you do not believe you already condemned if you do not believe the wrath of god abides upon you christ is the only way buddhism is false islam is false mormonism is false Rome, roman catholicism is false uh trying to do that and see what happens like if you say that there is pre-tribulation rapture uh and you're not suffering in this life for gospel's sake do that this is a good start right there <sighs> but continue on so okay since verse 6 since it is righteous thing with god to repay with tribulation those who trouble you and to give you who are troubled uh, re uh, rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in the flaming fire taking a vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ those shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he comes in that day in that day to be glorified in his saints to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed so <clears throat> yeah notice so they were already suffering experiencing tribulation already in the first century for the kingdom of god and God will repay those who did not believe with vengeance. Mark chapter 10, verse 26 to 31. And they were uh, exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to say, to say to him see we have left everything and followed you jesus said truly i say to you there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now in this life houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life but many who are first will be last and the last first so once again there's no one there's no one who will uh suffer for the uh, for the gospel's sake who will not lose something in his life for for christ next Philippians 1 27 verse 30 uh, 
only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of uh, of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come um, and see you am absent I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit uh, with one mind striving side by side f for the faith of the gospel and not fri uh, frightened in anything by your opponents this is a clear sight to them of their destruction but of your salvation and that from God for it is has been granted to use it for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him but also suffer for his sake let me read this again it has been granted uh, to use it for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him but also suffer for his sake engaging in the same conflict that you saw I had and now here that I still have I mean if you believe you also will suffer for the gospel's sake and I know that some people say oh what about the thief on the cross okay it was still old covenant the thief on the cross was saved I would say the last person saved under the old covenant still and in Christ's blood there was a new covenant established that's why John in Revelation 1 9 says I John your father I mean uh, I John your brother and partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that is that are in Jesus was on the island called Patmos on the account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus so he was suffering he was partaking in tribulation and the kingdom by the way I believe what scripture teaches that God's kingdom is partially now and it is spiritual for example Matthew 12 verse 28 but if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons then the kingdom of God has come upon you it has come upon you if Christ cast out demons in you next Luke 9 27 but I tell you truly there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God and who was it that was his some of his apostles and we know Jesus scared hung himself so next Luke 17 21 um nor will they say look it is here or uh, there for behold the kingdom of god is within or in the midst of you i would say it's within it makes more sense is within you uh john 3 3 jesus answered him truly truly i say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god john 3 5 John uh, I mean Jesus answered truly truly I say to you unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God so yes Christ's kingdom is now is spiritual and only if you're born again uh, you can see it and uh, yeah it it is partially now next point I would argue that Matthew 24 1 through 35 Mark 13 1 through 31 Luke 21 verse 5 through 33 are about 70 AD destruction of Jerusalem not about the second coming of Christ two different things one is talking about talking about uh, 70 AD. As one talking about the second coming of Christ. If you're interested on um, YouTube, there's lots of materials. 
Just type in 78Z Jerusalem and you will see a bunch of them like uh, what some of the whole history of the great Jewish revolt um, by multiple um, e either historians or preachers um, yeah I mean really he uh, helpful stuff so check them all out and I hope it will be helpful next <clears throat> so I'm just only gonna go over Luke 21 because it's the most obvious in my opinion it talks about 70 AD so Luke 21 so they said uh, they uh, asked him saying teacher but when will those things be and what sign there will be when those things are about to take place and he said take heed that you do not be uh, uh, that you not be deceived for many will come in my name saying i am he and the time has drawn near therefore do not go after them but when you hear a voice and Communion, communions do not be terrified for those things must co uh, come come to first pass first but the end will not come immediately then he said to them nation will rise against nation and, and kingdom against kingdom and there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences and there will be fearful signs and great signs from heaven but before all those things they will lay their hands on you and persecute you delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons you will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake but it will turn out for you as an occurrence for testimony therefore settle it in your hearts not to meditate therefore on what you have answered answer for i will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries will not able to contradict or resist you will be betrayed even by parents and brothers relatives and friends and uh, they will put some of you to death and you will be hated by all for my name's sake but not a hair of your head shall be lost by patience possess your souls but when you see jerusalem jerusalem surrounded by armies then know that it it is desolation is near then let those who are in judea flee to the mountains it's a local event not global as i should say not whole earth um you know event it's just a local event with in the middle east in israel so who are in judea flee to the mountains let those who are in the midst of her depart and let not those who are in the country enter her for those are the days of vengeance that all things which are written must be fulfilled but woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days for there will be great distress in the land and i know some of some translations translate as the earth but it's a land it can be actually translated either or land or earth but actually this time translators got it right land and wrath upon this people which people this people this people are referring to the jews in the first century who crucified christ who screamed crucify them that's those people upon and they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations and jerusalem will be trampled by gentiles and t not just gentiles i would say gentiles referring to the romans in, until the times of gentiles uh, are fulfilled 
and there will be signs in heaven in the moon and in the stars and and on the earth distress of nations with pro proxy, uh, perplexity the sea and the wave wave waves roaring men's heart falling f uh, them uh, from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken then they will see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory now those things begin to happen look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draw near then he spoke to them a parable look at the fig tree and all the trees when they are already budding you see and know for yourselves that summer is now near so you also when you see those things happening when the the kingdom of god is near uh, assuredly i say to you this generation will by no means pass away till all things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will by no means pass away and for those who's like well this generation may be referring to like uh what's the name? a jewish generation i was like look okay when is the modern israel begin existing here we go when is Israel became a nation it was okay 1940s uh, 1948 biblical generations 40 years so all those dispensational premillennialist nonsense you, i can count them as the false prophets after 40 years which is 1988 i mean it's already 2023 20, right now so how are you trying to twist it here and there it, that's it there's no more <sighs> continue on next uh, big problem is idolatry in a movie they did show christ supposedly christ in it um and what is idolatry is uh, uh deeds of the flesh which should be be killing not um increasing we should kill idolatry in our mind and we should kill uh and stop making idolatrous images like roman catholics would what is idolatry it says you shall not make for yourself a carved image any likeness of anything that is in heaven above which was they depicted christ in heaven or that is in the earth beneath or that is the uh, the water under the earth so they depicted christ in heaven which is false it should not be doing well you can say well nobody bowed down to the uh, movie screen well the problem is this in deuteronomy 27 15 says cursed is the one who makes a carved and molded image an abomination to the lord the work of hands of craftsmen and set it up in secret and all the people shall answer and say amen but it's not even set up in secret it's set up in the movie theater and once again it's not just what's called a you the curse is upon those who actually make the carbon image like aaron he made a golden calf so the point is this is that uh, they depicted christ more as an earthly man uh in heaven where if you just read it, a description of christ in book of revelation he's no longer this um i guess nice guy let's just put it this way revelation 1 uh, 1 verse 12 to 16 then i turned to see the voice that spoke with me and 
having turn I saw seven golden uh, lampstands and in the midst of the seven uh, lampstands one like the son of man clothed with a garment down to the feet and girded about the chest with a golden band his head and his hair were like white uh, were white like wool as snow uh, 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 as white as snow and his eyes like a flame of fire if you saw the movie question was his ha head and hair were like white like wool as white as snow and was his eyes like a flame of fire his feet were like fine brass as it is fine in furnace and his voice like a sound of wa uh, many waters and he uh, and he had in his hand seven stars out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance like the sun shining in its strength no, they depicted Christ. First of all, they should not depict Christ in the first place. And how they depicted the Garic Rome. Next, uh, problem is decisional regeneration and sinner's prayer. Uh, for, uh, John chapter 1, verse 11 through 13. <clears throat> he uh, he comes to his own and his own did not receive him but as many as received him to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name who were not born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God that was God's will that caused somebody to be born again you cannot choose it I would argue that Faith or belief is God's gift. You cannot choose whenever you want to believe. It's God's gift. He's the one who appoints time when you're going to believe. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 10. By grace you have been saved through faith and that is not of yourselves. Grace and faith is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works least anyone should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ uh, Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them that notice f grace faith and even good works uh, they are appointed by God they are, it's a gift gift gifts of God and I would argue uh, from James 1:17 Every good gift is, and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or sh shadow of turning. So that repentance is God's gift. Um, knowledge of the Bible, the Bible itself is God's gift. Um, forgiveness, uh, propitiation by Christ is God's gift. Uh, redemption predestination is God's, God's gift Ephesians 1 that you were predestined unto adoption your child you we all children of wrath by nature Ephesians 2 3 so <clears throat> this whole thing uh, talking oh why you did not believe or oh, this um, main character I'm sorry and director uh, I think it's Kevin, I already forgot his name. <laughs> um, asking this lady, it's like, it doesn't matter. It's like, I mean, you were blind, you were born spiritually blind and dead in sin and under control of Satan. The whole world under the power of evil one. Ultimately, there is no free will. It's either Satan controls you or Christ uh, by the Holy Spirit directs you where he gives you new heart and writes the laws uh, upon your mind and heart and he would discipline you if you are chi his child so 
next well biggest problem in the end not just sinner's prayer but they cannot even preach the normal gospel uh, faith about they came and explain faith and the gospel and in the end mr i think it's kevin pretty sure uh, Uh, is that there we go yeah Kevin um, Sorbo um, in the end he brought on uh, he spoke then he brought uh, Mike Huckabee in uh, and both of them, like Kevin asked, like, what is your favorite prophecy? And uh, with some, um, like, one third of the Bible is like one, or is it one third of one um, quarter of the Bible is about prophecy? And like, what is your favorite prophecy? <sighs> okay, first of all, all scriptures are profitable all like for me personally speaking i try not to have favorite scriptures why because if you have favorite scriptures you may um i call this like for example john three sixteen, like ever ever uh, for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have a lasting life and everybody's automatically start thinking that jesus christ died for everybody and he loves everybody which is not i would argue that he died for the world of believers if you look at word world in the gospel of john like in esv it's appeared 61 times in esv and like for example if you say world is every single body every single time notice the world cannot hate you but it hates me because i testify about it that it works like evil and uh, i made a whole video about world world so if uh, you're interested check it out on my channel but the point is this that i try not to have favorite scriptures because of this one uh, you elevate one scripture over another uh, where I try to look at the, for example, uh, all the verses for one position versus all the verses in another position. And I try, yeah, like me personally, like asking this question, like, what is your favorite prophecy is just pointless. You should try to memorize as much as you can of the Bible, try to study all the books of the Bible. Um, so... But <clears throat> since, <sighs> sad to say, uh, if you watched um, the movie, sad to say, uh, like wearing crucifix or going to this, digging up the grave of the dead lady to see if her body is still there uh, or not, it's not the gospel, guys. But at least you could have done, like, I understand, like, uh, I usually talk uh, about who God is, like his nature, like God is holy, God is love, God is righteous, um, God is never changing, God is eternal, um, uh, things like that, like God is all powerful, I would explain them, I show them from the Bible who God is, God is triune, um, <clears throat> and then I would actually present who Christ is that he's the uh, sinless uh, son of God and son of man it's like son of God referring to his deity son of man referring to his humanity that uh, uh, God son of God uh, became flesh and dwell among us he lived a sinless life he performed miracles he preached uh, he taught to his disciples he preached about denying yourself daily picking up your cross daily uh, he died on a cross and rose again from the dead 
but nothing and now he commands everybody and everywhere to repent and believe the gospel but there was nothing no, it was just like mentioned barely cross like but there was nothing even in the end any explanation of the gospel um the like clear explanation there was some hints but no no explanation so it's going to be like mini um uh, <clears throat> mini gospel presentation <clears throat> romans 10 verse 8 to 17 but what does it say the word is near near you in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess with your mouth uh, the the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confess is made unto salvation for the scriptures say whoever believes on him will not be put to shame for there is no distinction between jew and greek for the lord same over all uh, is rich to all who call upon him for whoever calls on the name of the lord shall be saved how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall uh, they believe in whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach unless they ascend as it is written how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace uh, who bring glad tidings of good news but uh, they have not all obeyed the script uh, the gospel for isaiah uh, says the lord who has believed our report so then faith by uh, comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god all this actually word hypocrite or hypocrite properly uh, in the original it should be translated as a stage actor they did not even translate it as a as a proper translation they just le left it as untranslated it should be a stage actor or just an actor where where the the whole movie is filled with actors and politicians <laughs> sad to say and the last one <clears throat> now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen uh when uh, one of the characters asked about what is faith and they're like oh we not don't know uh, you know we're not always sure um if you've been born again and god is working in your life you will see how certain sins involved in your life would vanish you know being killed by the spirit in your life or when you sin god would discipline you for those sins so um that's pretty much it and like i said like you don't have to dig a, a grave <laughs> and to see if this person disappeared or not um you have to read the bible you have to read the study the bible for yourself um and see like um what it teaches like start in the new testament uh, i usually recommend people start with gospel of john then mark then luke and from luke go to acts uh the reason why because actually luke is uh L luke wrote luke and book of acts and it's kind of like two volume set book where it kind of goes from one thing to another the reason why i don't recommend gospel of matthew if you never read the bible is because uh assumption is of the writer of matthew is that you know the old testament quite well so like i said start in gospel of john then mark then luke and book of acts and hopefully lord willing god will open your eyes but overall movie actually like if you compare like kirk cameron kirk cameron's movie 
uh, who I think now closet post millennialist. This is um, what's the movie he made? Uh, uh, Kirk, Cam, um, movies. Uh, I forgot what's the name of a movie he made. Um, uh, well, besides Left Behind, of course. Um, oh, the, here we go. This one right, right there. Uh, Monumental in the Search of America's National Treasure. Um, yeah, that seems like a closet post millennialism right there. Um, which, in my opinion, is false. A waste of time because if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God, no matter how many, how many so-called uh, righteous laws you will uh, install upon unbeliever. He will not able to see it. All you will create is a hypocrite or Pharisee, um, with putting a person under even law of Christ. <laughs> laws or the old testament laws which wherever you want to choose so it seems like what's the moment to be honest with you if you compare like um kirk cameron's left behind and kevin uh kevin kevin's i forgot his last name already um where is it yeah, Ke uh, Kevin Sorbro. Um, I would say actually Kirk Cameron did better job and explained the gospel in his four um, movies left behind. But uh, like I said, it should not, in my opinion, like whole, I guess, Christian entertainment um, is just a waste of time. And like I said, word hypocrite. Uh, should have been translated as a stage actor um, and we should be preaching the gospel uh, foolishness of preaching simplicity of preaching so that's it and have a good day